Okay. Uh, hello, it's Keith from Convert. Uh, this one's going to be really qu quick. It's like four in the morning. Um, I just coded this tonight. Um, so I wanted to do MNIST in just plain MATLAB, and I haven't done MATLAB in, in a bit, so I forgot some of the syntax. But anyway, um, I tried using Chatbeach GPT. It really uh, was not useful. A few of the things were close to right. This was close to right. Um, but it, you need like a normal distribution and uh, like Xavier initialization and a bunch of stuff that it, and it was quite buggy. I, I don't really know what it's doing there, but maybe it's just that I haven't slept in a bit. And then um, this was all basically wrong. But then this was, I mean, it was the opposite of right. It needed to be a minus, if I recall. Um, I think that all had to be minuses, yeah. Um, but you know, just it, it it helped in getting an initial kind of outline in a way, but it also was making a big mess. Um, so anyway, and then yeah, this and it, it was going with a sigmoid at first instead of a soft max, and um, it wasn't able to help with one hot encoding. I thought it'd be able to do that pretty easy, but it kept going to some like end to vec or some function like that that's kind of proprietary that you got to pay extra for, I guess. Um, but it helped a bit, you know, like like getting this and then just having to change it to minuses and th there were a few little areas that it was able to help, but overall I once again tried a little too hard to force, you know, I've been trying to do everything through this and really there's only a few tidbits I was able to to get and I've already done like this in C++ you know so I, I basically know how to do it. it it did take a little trial and error for me to find out it was, it was the minus because it wasn't converging and um, but that one I figured out pretty quick um, these ones were wrong and took a fair bit to figure back out to get the uh, the shapes and everything correct how long are we? Two and a half minutes. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's what I got. It can show an image. That's not a big deal. I'll probably do some visualizations later. Um, but I'm getting like 90%. I was getting 94% with like 10 epochs, but I'll just leave it at 2. This is 90% and it's quick. I don't know how fast other people's computers will be if they try to run it. Um, but yeah, get, getting the one hot was a bit of a pain so and, and it was a pain and this is this is slow there's probably a better way to do it but I'm a little sleep deprived and uh, and then I just saved the uh, the variables and so those are actually gonna be in my github here they should be in my Z data folder um, and then I started from this and uh, there was some dude that made this and that's where I got started from and there should be a link to that in my github as well but anyway I gotta I gotta go to bed um, but that's what I did um, there were a couple little tidbits that were a little useful from open GTP GPT but um, anyway it, it was uh, not particularly helpful so okay well Keith from convert and I'll, I'll do a better video on this later but right now I gotta go to sleep so see you guys Bye.